Dan Ans, welcome to Let's Play Friday. My name is Ian, it's season three, and it's time to play Aladdin on Sega Genesis. See right here, they're telling us what all this shit is, what all of it means, and what to do with it, you know? We get it. Let's move on. In Agrabah, I think I said that right, a faraway land of wind and sand, a young street rat named Aladdin must steal to survive. Meanwhile, Jafar, the Sultan's advisor, plots to take over the kingdom by stealing a magic lamp from the perilous cave of wonders. Our story begins on a dark night at the Agrabah Market. <laughs> now, Dan Dan's, uh, this was a game that was released on Super Nintendo and Sega Genesis. And I grew up with a Sega Genesis, as many of you guys know, but I don't think I owned Aladdin. Uh, the game is pretty easy to follow, where A throws your apple, B swings your sword, and C jumps. And I did a little bit of a practice run right before recording, just to make sure I wasn't dog shit when I turned the game on and then the episode was four minutes long. But I found in that few minutes that this game is fucking awesome, dude. I love this game. So we gotta jump. Oh, see, that was a problem. I jumped and totally fucked up and missed. But here we go. Let's do it again. The controls are a little floaty. So, see, my fucking ass. <laughs> They're a little floaty in the sense that if you have a running start when you stop running, that slide right there, go back a few seconds, it's exactly what I was talking about. If you stop running, uh, the prince, Aladdin, he is going to run for another few steps. So pinpoint platforming is a little hard to do unless you are like in tune with the controls almost perfectly. So it's not super hard, it just takes a little bit of practice to get going. And I think I got that little bit of practice when, right before I started recording. So we should be in good shape. Fuck my stoma. See, I fell off that part right there. That was a Your Mom's House podcast reference right there. If you guys don't know what fuck my stoma is. <laughs> I don't blame you. It's fucked up. So that guy was hidden behind the wall. So we did our best to take him out beforehand. That guy can go ahead and burn his toes and we don't give a shit. One of the cool little details I've noticed about this game is when you fight an enemy like that, that has a sword, if you swing your sword at the same time that they do, check it out. See that? See how the screen flashed white there? I hope it picked up on the, on the video, but the screen flashes white like the swords made contact with each other, which is a really cool little detail. Now we have this sword thrower here, who is going to be a problem unless we can take him out, which we did. So jump, jump! Those collapse on you very quickly, so you gotta know exactly what to do. Dude, we are throwing apples, we are swinging swords, we are getting checkpoints. This episode of Let's Play Friday, we are fucking clean. We are making it happen, you got me? Except that guy in the fucking basket. <laughs> it just fucked us up. We're gonna climb the rope here, we're gonna get those uh, little gemstones. Cause that, fuck you! See, that menu in the beginning told us what all the stuff did, but I don't remember what the genie head is good for. But, it's the genie, so I bet it was a good thing. It might have been for, like, high score. Ooh, there's a gold thing up there. We gotta get it, right? Got it! Don't know what it did, but it's alright with me. Then we're gonna bounce up and head over this way. Get that checkpoint. This guy here, I thought he was an enemy, so I tried to kill him. But it turns out, he's the merchant. So you come over, spend a couple of your gimmicks there, and I don't know what we just got. I think we got another life. So now we'll head over here, and we'll bounce up, drop down, take down the sword guy. Dan Dan's, while you are watching me play Aladdin on Sega Genesis for Let's Play Friday, and we're completing levels just like that, I want to remind you guys that you can go to soundcloud.com slash 616 Entertainment. Or iTunes to listen to the 616 Entertainment Podcast. Right here, we got a slot game. Let's try not to lose. Here we go. Okay, we got a one-up. What else can we get? Fuck! Nothing. <laughs> we had five tries. We got one life out of it, so that's not too bad. That little graphic there of that golden scarab coming up, I fucking love that. Oh, that's what that thing was. That was a bonus level. What do we do? Do we have to... Break as many as possible. Damn. I wasn't good at that at all. <laughs> I don't know if the game is being uh, genuine or not when it says nice try. 
Having escaped from the gods, Aladdin is approached by an ancient beggar. There's a cave, boy. A cave of wonders filled with enough treasure to make all your dreams come true. That guy is on meth. Look at him. To find it, you must find the two halves of a magic scarab. The first half is lost in the desert. How am I going to fucking find it? I guess that's what level two is going to be about, right? Yeah, there we go. Disney's Aladdin, the desert. Okay. I like doing the voices in the cutscenes, you know what I'm saying? Because otherwise you guys are just sitting here watching a blank screen. And I think a lot of people might be embarrassed and they wouldn't want to do the voices, but here's the thing, I'm an idiot. So I don't give a shit. <laughs> Now, uh, when I did my little practice run, just to make sure I wasn't dog shit when I started recording, I got right here, and then I shut it off, because I was like, you know what, that's enough practice, I know what I'm doing now. So everything beyond this point, I have never seen before, so- OH NO! OH! So I am in for just- look at the stop sign right there! The fuck is with that? This is a desert. So I'm in for just as much surprise as you, that's where I was going with that. Can I jump on these? I can! Okay. So what is over here that's so special? Anything? No? There's gotta be something, right? Why does it allow me to do that if there's nothing special up there? Huh. I don't know. But I'm not gonna try again. Well, maybe I have to because I don't know where to go. Okay, bounce. Bounce. Bounce, bounce, no, jump, up, got it, okay. So. Okay, so there's nothing on that side. What we need is on this side. Well, see, that fucked me up at first because I thought that was barbed wire. <laughs> that was hanging overhead. So, it's a good thing it wasn't because that would suck. Okay, why can't I... Where do I go? Do I go down here? Oh, I see. Damn, that guy was a pain in the ass. What's that? That looks like a good thing. <laughs> Dude, the mystery of old, like, Sega Genesis and Super Nintendo games, you just see a thing off in the distance and you're like, whoa, what's that thing? And then for the rest of the game, you're wondering, like, how do I get to that thing? <laughs> it looked special. Okay, so now... We don't... I'm like in the spikes, but I guess it doesn't matter. I was gonna say, we don't want to get nailed by the spikes. Hit the bird, make all his feathers come off. Fuck that bird. Alright, I'm not quite... Oh, here we go. See? Now I can come back and find out what this is. What the fuck was that? <laughs> I don't know what that was. Okay, we gotta get back on that line up there, or else we're gonna die in the spikes, right? Oh no, I guess we're ahead of them. Sometimes 2D planes are hard to read, you know? Oh, is that part of the Golden Scarab? Is that what that is? I guess that's what that is. Okay, this guy is proving to be a problem. But we go hit him with an apple and take care of him right quick. You know what else you can take care of right quick? You can take care of uh, not being subscribed to this channel. If you click that subscribe button, you will be all set for life. And every episode of Let's Play Friday will wind up in your feed and you don't have to do shit. You know what I'm saying? I like the porta potties there. And <laughs> they have a porta potty for genies too. Monkey! Help me out, man. I guess he did help me out. He took that guy out for me. Hell yeah, dude, we got the Scarabs, level 2 complete. We might be able to make some real progress here in Let's Play Friday. Ooh, here we go, slot game, let's not die. Now it's totally random, so I can't time it. Fuck! <laughs> that's one of the things that's nice about having uh, good rhythm is you can time those. Well done, Street Rat. The second half of the Scarab is at Agrabah, in the possession of a clever thief. I think I skipped the rest of that, but, uh, it's okay. <laughs> On to level three, which kind of looks the same as level two, but we're gonna, we're gonna hear him out. I'm really worried about that knife thrower guy, because he's, like, barely wearing any clothing. 
And that can't be healthy. Are you nice? No! He fucking snake bit me! Fuck that guy. What's that? I don't know what that was. What is this? What the fuck is that? It's like a reverse rope thing. Can we kill this guy from down here? Hut! Hut! No. What can I do? Can I jump? Nope. Okay, rope thing. Help me out again. There we go. I wanted to cut that guy's fucking hand off for trying to throw that shit at me because I don't appreciate that. Okay, so we got the pots here. Sometimes you gotta think out loud when you play these old games, you know? Hut! Hut! Hit him with an apple! Jesus Christ! Dude, you know what I'm thinking about, Dan Ans? You know how long it's been since I've seen the movie Aladdin? I haven't seen it since I was a kid. So there's probably references here to the movie that are just going directly over my head. The other thing that's going over my head right now, oh, I was going to say, is where I'm supposed to go. But it looks like it forces you down, and then you have to grab the other upside down rope. Magic rope. Yep. So now, we've made our way in here. Dan Dance, I am having a lot of fun doing Let's Play Friday Season 3, so I hope you guys are having a lot of fun watching. Another thing you can have a lot of fun watching is uh, Spillin' Tea with Vincent Terra, which is a conversational comedy show. Fuck my ass! I died. <laughs> It's a conversational comedy show we do here on this channel, starring the Tokyo Boy Vince Burnett and the beautiful Tara Darcy. If you don't know what spilling tea is, spilling tea basically just means talking shit or spreading gossip. You know what I'm saying? So if you like those things and you like funny people and good looking people, you should watch spilling tea with Vince and Tara, because it has all those things wrapped up into one. God damn it. I'm getting a little sloppy here. Poppy's kind of sloppy, you know what I'm saying? If anybody knows what that was a reference to, you get bonus points. Okay, so we took him out. Got the bell thing. Got to get our nice little gem up top. We... This soundtrack, guys, obviously based on the movie, is... Very nice to listen to. You know what I'm saying? I'm having a lot of fun listening to the soundtrack. Here's a question I have for you guys. Do you guys ever listen to uh, video game music like in your everyday life? Or is that not something you're into? I've talked about it before on Let's Play Friday. How for... There was a time in my life where it was just like, how can somebody just listen to that? Fuck! I died in the same spot! We gotta get this together. Where I'd be like, man, I don't know how people could just listen to that, like, while driving or while in the shower or whatever. But you know what? I've come across some banger soundtracks that now I, I listen to them. I do. And they're fucking good and they're fun to listen to. Okay. We're gonna bounce. We're gonna get our apples, you know what I'm saying? I don't know how to get that one up there. Magic Row. Can you take me the other way? No. It simply refuses. <sighs> I'm not sure what those bells do. Are they changing the song that's currently playing? Or is it by chance? As far as I can tell, the bells are having no uh, effect on the current song in hand. Okay, so, we know that this guy's here, we don't want to get too involved with him, because we don't want to lose health. Fuck my ass! So, we got that guy there. I really have to come up with better phrases, because I'm repeating the same shit. <laughs> okay, this is a snake boy, and we know fuck him, because he's mean. So we're gonna go up here, this is where we keep dying, so... Apple, 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 got him. Come over here, we got some extra health, beautiful. We're gonna go down there, because I had a feeling he was hiding something, which he was. Now we can go back up without the worry of that dickhead being there. So now we jump across the road, gotcha. 
Dan Nance, I want to take a second to put over a YouTube channel that I love called Captain McKay Random. If you don't know Captain McKay, he's a longtime Dan Dan, but he's also a stop motion animator, probably the best one I've ever seen. And he works with Godzilla, he works with WWE, wrestling, he works with all sorts of stuff. Terminator, uh, and if you are into any of those properties, you will love the stuff he puts together because the guy has a fucking hell of an imagination and a hell of a lot of talent. So that's Captain McKay Random on YouTube that I want to suggest everybody check out as soon as possible. If you want, you know, as, you know what I'm saying? Re I recommend you pause this video right now, head over to his channel, click subscribe, then of course you come back and finish this video, then you go to his channel. Because you don't want to rush the Captain McKay videos. You can rush these. I don't give a fuck. But Captain McKay, that shit takes time. That's painstaking effort. One by one. Frame by frame. Making all that stuff happen. And I grew up. My favorite movie growing up to this day is A Nightmare Before Christmas. So, I love stop motion animation. And I respect the shit out of the effort that goes into it. Okay. Grabbed onto the clothesline, coming across here. Gotta get that nice gem. Is that a checkpoint? Beautiful. Fuck you! Any goodies in here? Doesn't seem like it. I have a feeling we're probably getting close to- OH! To the end of this level. Which makes me happy. Cause I feel like, a lot of times I do a Let's Play Friday and I do games that are pretty difficult. And I don't make a whole hell of a lot of progress, and then I feel bad. Like, shit, I wanted to show off more of this game. <laughs> okay, so we took him out. It doesn't look like we can go down right there. So we're gonna use the magic rope to go up. Can we clear- shit, my face. Can we clear that jump? Look at this. We're gonna try. Ah! Yeah, dude! Gotta watch for the birds. Got another beautiful checkpoint. Ooh, is this a boss fight? Fuck this guy, dude. Yeah! Are you playing? We got that scarab. Where do we go now? <laughs> I thought that was a boss fight. I thought that was gonna be the end of the level. Alright, uh... Okay, we must have missed that bell last time. There we go. We needed that bell. So now we got the magic rope. Hell yeah, I got some extra health. Look at this. Are you out of your mind? This is beautiful. Carried us all the way across. Oh shit. Is he another boss? Was that guy just a sub boss? He was too short to be a real boss! We should've known! Let's not rush it. Yeah, dude! Took him out, level complete. Dan Dan's, first of all, I wanna say two things. I don't know why I said first of all when we are like 20 minutes into this Let's Play. Okay, let's focus. Not to lose. Here we go. Yeah, dude. Here we go. Dude, got another one up. Apples. Apple. Okay, last try. Fuck! <laughs> well, that was by far our most successful run. With both halves of the Scarab, Aladdin is ambushed unexpectedly by the palace guards. You won't get away this time, Thief. It's the Sultan's Dungeon for you. <laughs> I don't know why those voices were so, like, simple, and the other ones I've been doing, like, deep accents for. <laughs> Unhand that prisoner by the order of the princess. <laughs> Sorry, princess. You'll ha you'll have to take it up with Jafar. <laughs> Cast into the Sultan's dungeon, Aladdin can think of only Jasmine, the girl from the marketplace. Would he ever have a chance with a princess? Dude. See, that's the question we're all asking ourselves, right? Some of us are lucky enough to get there. But now, we got to the next stage, which is the Sultan's dungeon. Ooh. Look at the stark change in color. I love it. 
Dude, the spikes, the stone walls, the chains, the bats. I'm getting Castlevania vibes. Look at that. Look at the swinging cannonballs. That is fucking gorgeous for the Sega Genesis, dude. I love it. What's that? Okay. Oh, I see. We got some timed platforming going on here. So we're gonna jump and wait. J ah, fuck. Okay. And jump. And jump. Oh, that was slightly delayed. Jump. And jump across. Got it. I'm gonna be fully honest. I did not think I was gonna like this game as much as I do. I like I heard from the guys on GameSack, which is another great YouTube channel, that this was a good game. I didn't know it was gonna be this good. This is a lot of fun. And I borrowed this game from my work, like I did with Grindstormer and other games that I featured on this channel. Uh, so I didn't pay a dime for this game. But you know what? This one's getting the full treatment. I'm I'm straight up buying this game. Cause this is this is too much fun to, to give back, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so we're gonna jump across onto the chain, but it looks like the chain's gonna let us down. I'm really impressed by these swinging cannonballs. That's some high level shit for the Sega Genesis. Okay, so oh my ass. So we need oh we can't reach that genie. So I guess we're gonna go down. These games can be kind of hard to keep track of, and I get scared that I'm heading back to a place like where I've already been. You know what I mean? Okay, so jump, jump, jump. Oh, okay, I see. It's it's one over, one over. And I didn't time that very well. Dan Dance, how are you feeling about watching this game? Are you still with me? I feel like this game is gorgeous to look at. The gameplay is super fun. Uh, not that you guys can tell because uh, I'm playing, you guys are watching. But I would like to think that this is translating super well. Here we go. Yeah, dude. Buy me that thing. But I'm, I'm spending all my fucking shit right there. <laughs> okay, find more gems. So we're officially broke. Which means the quest must continue. What is that... Genie. Okay, the genie hat is officially for, like, your high score. I learned that. Oh, I got got by that fucking bat that came out of the fucking tube. <laughs> okay, so now. Alright, we're not far from where we died. Luckily, there's a checkpoint right there, so we know exactly what's going on. Make that jump. It's coming over here. It reminds me of, like, Mega Man 2. That timed, uh, platforming right there. I took too many hits against that guy, I'm not happy about that. So this chain here... Yeah, this is gonna lead us right up to where we were, we gotta remember that there is a bat... ...in that tube. Right? Got him. See? We learn from our mistakes. More time platforming. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. Got- Oh no, dude! I could've sworn I was right on that. But it dropped me down to some health, so that's okay. I couldn't get that guy from below, that was fucked up. So is this like an alternate path? Was I supposed to miss that there? Or now am I just going down a separate way because I fucked up? Speaking of fucking up, dude, I took way too many hits against that piece of shit. It bothers me. It makes me so mad. Sound like a fucking outcast. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> See now they're they're hitting you with the time platforming, plus that stab spike right there, which I totally fucking just fell for it. Pissed me off. And as I usually ask for, Dan Ans, let me know what you think about this episode of Let's Play Friday. I always like to hear what you guys think. And uh, if there are games that I have not touched on somehow in three seasons of this show, please let me know what those games are because I would love to do those episodes, you know? Uh, I'm doing this show again because I, like, rediscovered my love of doing these. But, you know, it also wouldn't hurt to have you guys actually watch. <laughs> and care about the ones that I do. So yeah, let me know exactly what games uh, you would like me to cover. 
Oh no, this guy! We got him. Okay, we didn't we actually didn't have to fight him. But we have damn near nothing in the health department. So now it's coming down to the wire here about being careful and making sure everything that we do counts. Which is dip fuck my ass, which is difficult when it comes to time platforming. So we can see that there's a guy up there and he's gonna be a problem, isn't he? Okay, we killed him. So now we can head back up there safely. Maybe that was a blessing in the skies. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That we saw him beforehand, took him out, and actually missed. <laughs> so we'll come down, we'll wait, we will jump, we'll wait, we will jump. Jump. Oh no! Okay, we almost fucked up there. Almost had a colossal fuck up. Dude, health. Need some health. Platform, jump, platform, cross here. Got some gemolas, you know what I'm saying? Alright. That's gonna be a problem. Because we got a spike guy. See that spike coming out? And a time platform, but we made it! Time platform's up here. We're gonna hit this guy with apples, because we don't want to get too close if we don't have to. And beautiful, completed the level. Guys, we are rampaging through Aladdin on Sega Genesis. It's time for the best part, are you ready? Let's not die. Fuck! <laughs> How does that keep happening? Give me the scarab, sweet rat, and I will show you the way to the cave of wonders. Why are we trusting this meth head? I don't remember what happens in the movie, but I don't feel like we should trust him. Go on, boy! Take nothing but the lamp and you can return for the treasure. Jafar could hurry up. Oh, Jafar, could you hurry up? I'm dying here. Far easier to steal the lamp from a street rat than from the Cave of Wonders. All right, now we're to the Cave of Wonders. How long is this game? I wonder how long this game is. Fuck, how are you gonna give me that bat right off the start? That bat is still bouncing around up there. Got him. Oh. Come on. Ooh, what's that? Oh, those are spikes on the floor. Shit. All right, well, we're starting to learn. Oh, f oh, dude, okay. I was saying we're rampaging through this game, but that was a lot. That was a lot right there. Shit that went wrong all at the same time. So this time, let's do our best not to get got by those little traps. We got the bat. We're going to come through here. Drop down for the... Oh! Okay. We got the thing. Now jump across. Now when we get over here, there's the fish. We got him already. So jump and jump. Beautiful. I don't trust this thing. Yep. I knew it was bullshit. Oh no, too many bats, too many bats. You know never to trust a bat if you play Castlevania. Okay. Oh, I didn't even see him in there. There we go, there's one up there. I was gonna say, I gotta start looking closer. Find out where these pricks are. Oh! I can't even believe that just happened. I'm a fucking dope, I'm a dolt. I'm a numbskull. I gotta deal with these bats again. Okay, let's make it count this time. Oh my Jesus fucking hell. <laughs> this is not going smoothly. Dan, as we're falling apart here on level whatever, six. Okay, got the bats. Drop down, jump across, grab the thing. Got it, okay. Oh my ass. This, it could be going smoother, you know? Fucking bat. This thing is full of shit. I don't trust it. Got it. How do I kill this thing? 
What is happening around me? Do you hear that? Something is going horribly wrong. Oh shit, is the place like collapsing? Then we gotta get the fuck out of here. Monkey! Monkey thing! Fuck, I died trying to get the monkey! Yeah, of course you can fan me now because the fucking, you're the reason I died. Okay, jump, jump, jump. Come up here, jump. Fuck that thing. I hate these, dude. They're like not vulnerable until they attack. Okay, so we're gonna come across. Fuck the monkey thing, I don't trust it. Okay, we got a little bit of health there, so that was a nice bonus. We... where do we go from here? Or do we not? Do we go further up? Do we need the monkey? We didn't need the monkey, but now we got it. I guess we have to just take a leap of faith over here, right? I don't like those snail guys. They look like pricks. Fuck the statue thing, because we hate him. Go ahead and move, I'm gonna get you. Ain't no way you ain't gonna get got, you know what I'm saying? Oh, it is an absolute miracle I did not hit get hit by any of those bats. That was wonderful. Nice checkpoint, we're gonna jump over. You know we're gonna get that health. I didn't even need it, I had full health. But you gotta get that health to make sure that nobody else is gonna get it. <laughs> you know? Does anybody else play like that? This bat is a pain in my fucking asshole. Got him. Is he gonna be back? Okay, jump. Hold on. Got it. Oh my god, the bats are the most annoying part! Dude, a goddamn bat is gonna get me again. Help me, Mr. Man Guy. Whatever you're selling, I want it. I don't even know what I'm buying from him. Alright, we're gonna head- Ugh! We almost fell. Fuck! The goddamn bat! I can't believe this. I can't believe that bat just got me again. Oh, man. Okay, let's see. We're gonna go across. Fucking bats, of course. Come down, get that health through a coop that we just lost to the fucking bats. And then we landed on the spikes. This is a problem. I've wasted so many apples now. I'm damn near appleless. I'm not talking about Indianapolis, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Shit. Okay. I don't, so am I going the right way? We're gonna go up this rope, up this rope. Am I supposed to destroy that statue? Does that mean anything? This level said something about statues. But I can't, maybe I'm going up too high before I jump. Let's see if I start lower. Yes, that was the key. So we took out the statue. Do I go up? Fuck you, bat! Oh my god, I hate the bats. Jesus Christ, okay, we got him. So we're gonna go up the rope and across. Huh. Something's not right here. Back around. Over here. We took out that statue. See, there's a way down over here, but I don't know how to get down there. You see that? Or is that where we came from? Why am I fucked up now? Oh, here we go. Got it. What's that? Is it boss fight time? It is. I was about to get really frustrated and be like, man, why'd this have to happen? I was having so much fun. But now, 
It's like that, you know, you get to a point in 16-bit games where you fight a boss and you're like, you know, I really don't know if I'm hurting him. <laughs> it's hard to tell if I'm doing any damage. But now that he's moving like this, it seems pretty clear to me that we were doing damage. So now we know he's gonna spit fire and we have to attack him while he moves. Got him, dude, excellent. Magic carpet ride. Is this gonna take us through the level? Through the rest of the level, I should say. Oh yeah, dude, drop me off by that health. Excellent. What a great day. Oh, I fell in the fucking water. All right. We got two lives left, Anans. Let's make this count. Jump across. There's gonna be a fish. I don't trust that fish, dude. That platform's gonna come back, right? All right, good. There's bound to be another fish, I knew it! Okay. Dude, this game is so much fun. <laughs> I'm fucking loving this game. That's it! Level complete! Moving on! Dan Dan's, we are flying through Aladdin on Sega Genesis. Now, <laughs> let's see if we fly through this. Ah, there we go! Ruby and an apple! What? This- look at that 616 bottom right hand corner. Excellent! We made it through every turn! Now it's on to the fucking monkey bonus level! <laughs> I gotta think this is one of the better episodes of Let's Play Friday there's ever been. What do you Dan Ants think? Okay, so- okay. I- do I not get hit or I do get hit? Okay, I have to collect the rubies, but not get hit by the rocks. Gotcha. So the rubies at this point are basically... Oh, fuck! I didn't know that thing was gonna come out. I was gonna say, the rubies are basically bait to get me to run out into the open. So now it's time for the escape. Oh no! Okay, I didn't know I was going to be able to make that jump. That looked quite perilous, you know what I'm saying? Oh no! Holy shit. This is intense. Oh! Fuck my ass. Okay. Jump. Jump! Alright, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ. Oh! Okay. So, come across here. This is- this is getting so intense. <laughs> I'm fucking- I'm not- I'm not a sweater, you know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of people, I think it's funny when they get in a high-stress situation, they're like, I'm sweating. I always think that's funny. That's not me. I'm not- I'm not that kind of guy, but if I was, I would be telling you I'm sweating right now. <laughs> Fuck! Okay, did I go the wrong way? Across, across. Okay, here we go. God damn. It's too spooky! Too spooky! No! I fell in a hole! Alright, here we go. We gotta watch for the boulder. I don't give a fuck about the gems up top. Right now, I care about the level at hand, the task at hand. I care about the escape. Because this is our last life, which I just realized now. So we have to make this count. I don't give a shit about gems and apples, but if there's any health around here, someone- OH! I FELL IN THE FUCKING HOLE AGAIN! Dan Dan's- that is game over. You know what? We had a- we had a great run. We'll call it right there. This was an excellent game. If you'd like to see me finish and beat Aladdin in another Let's Play Friday episode down the line, let me know and I'll make that happen for you. I love you. Thanks for coming to Agrabah with me and the Cape of Wonders, and I will see you next week. Yeah.